bought it a billion oh, years no. ago. Yeah. <laughs> there was like five of them. It's not too big of a deal. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll right. we'll get arrested. So we have a. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have Falcon Falco versus Falcon Falco. No, someone was playing Sheik. What? I don't know who. <laughs> who the fuck was playing Sheik here? Oh wait no, he's he's gonna blow. It's gonna be Fox Fox That's Falco one of those people when I answer versus Falcon yeah. Falco. Oh my god! I might have to go. Uh, I have to, might go play teams. Play, like, the, play the doubles. Away. I've actually wait. You guys probably should have a buy, right? No. The only people with buys are Zelda. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you're playing Gear Nitai. Yeah, whenever that happens. All right, I'm gonna go run. All right. Word. Alright, I'm solo commentating doubles. Let's see what the fuck they're playing. Alright, Pokemon. Who's who's playing? I gotta imagine Phasers is playing Sheik. But yeah. So we're gonna have Panos Relic versus Phasers Overflow. Uh, these are some team's monsters here. Although, I don't know how, how much of a team's monster Phasers is, but I know Overflow is a team's monster, and they're both Zen players, so... Should be pretty good. Right now, it, first stock there, taken by both teams, it was really split into two individual 1v1s. Sort of just on different sides of the stage. And I feel like that definitely favors green team by a little bit, because Panos is just the best player on this screen by far. Relic's a monster in teams, and yeah, pretty much it. However, blue team does have the I'm playing Fox advantage, because the playing Fox's teams is broken. So we'll see what happens. Good down smash there, Panos is just going to die. Oh, this is a big kill. And they all end up going out there, and he does die. So that was a big edge guard there, the 2v1 converted into another stock after a nice down smash to kill. But green team going to take it back. And yeah, see, they're not able to convert, and it's still a pretty even game. Overflow, up smashing a billion times. Stomps everywhere. Doubles is happening. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Overflow doing a great job there, just protecting the ledge, letting uh, phasers come back. Oh wow, how'd he get that ledge there? He had to jump for so long. Oh, this is a big edge guard opportunity on Panos. Goes for a down here for the combo extender, but fares two players and only kills his teammate. Never mind. Nope, yeah, and then dies in the process. So, all of a sudden, overflows in his last stock, and Phasers has been stock taking like a monster. So, pretty even game here. Like, really just comes down to whether the Falco or the Sheik dies next, or unfortunately for whoever does it, one of the lower percent players. Ooh, Sheik gotten real greedy traded with Falco and they just both died. So this game is super even here. Good grab. Overflow is playing way back, but then he finally goes in and gets need. He's gonna make it back. Panos back here is both players. Kyle trying to fire some lasers. Close game. Ooh, another big edge guard opportunity. So Either Overflow has to tank this stock super well, or he has to, like, just sort of die. And, oh, this is huge! Panos gets greedy, but this is really a danger zone now, because one of these players is going to be stuck at a very high percent, so they really have to take a stock now. Like, if Blue Team's able here to take a stock, real quick, they're in great shape. Oh, Overflow's not going to make it back. Takes a stock. It's really big that Phasers makes it back, and Phasers is going to get an edge card here. But this is a doable 2v1. Ooh, misses the back air. Oh, he just spam roll. Just got to get one hit. Just split him up. Just pretend you're playing Ices here. Here we go, one back air. Oh, this tree's really messing him up. Back through to his teammate. Mm. Okay, here we go. No. Kyler right there with the back air. Oh, wow. Two of you almost played pretty well. So, Panos and Relic get game one. Let's figure out what is the game count here.
a scoreboard editor, you're amazing. Anyway, game two here. Definitely been splitting up into the 1v1s again. Hmm. Interesting trade. My new lead here for the blue team. Let's see if they can convert. How, how much longer does she can really hold on to a stock? Uh, not long at all. But at the same time, Falco gets edge guarded. So yeah, this game has been surprisingly like split up into two individual 1v1s. There's not really been a lot of team combos, really besides protecting each other to the ledge. Neither team has really been doing that much teamwork stuff, but they both have been pretty good at trying to help with recovery and work together at the ledge. Was the team a, a few decent, you know, team edge guards? Oh wow, that was a great double shine. And he makes it back. Trapped in the corner though. Ooh, good angle, just gets over Falco with down air. And we're gonna Dragon Ball Z it up with Sheik and Falcon both dying there. See what they can do from invincibility. Panos gets an up air too. Just run around. So see there, like yeah, they're both in their own individual 1v1s, and as soon as the edge guard starts, he leaves his 1v1 and goes and tries to help his teammate. So it's definitely pretty interesting. So, I feel like this individual 1v1 strat is probably going to help green team in the long run, and you sort of see here, because they just keep having to bring it back to a minuscule school advantage, even though they were a little bit behind early on. Oh, great recovery by Panos. Oh, this is bad though. This is really bad. He has to get back. Spaghetti at the ledge. Oh, but is Falco gonna die? Wow, that was a huge moment. Falco almost died at 20 and would have left 172 Falcon in a 1v1. Uh, he's not gonna make it back. And he's gonna get deep. That was another real close game. So, Panos and Relic honestly kept that 